what are the new generation frauds? So we are tracking 200 of the most important cyber criminals uh, towards banking in the world. They're primarily coming from Russia and former Soviet uh, satellite states. And what we see that they do is still pretty much the most important threats that we see today come from a significant event back in 2014. So what happened back then, that the peer-to-peer -peer Zeus botnet, which was operated by a guy called Bogachev, was taken down by the FBI, and then Bogachev, who held all the keys for that botnet, was chased away to Russia. Now, everything that we see happening today, in some way, is connected to that single event a little bit over a year ago. Uh, and we see that the major threats that we see today are still connected for example, the two biggest threats that we see to Italy, Dyer and Drydex, and these are the attacks that the criminals are doing towards online banking channels, trying to manipulate the sessions, getting the money out of the system through infecting the banking customers. These two threats are both done by former customers of peer-to-peer -peer Zeus and Bogachev. So we still see that those threats are hinging back in that event in 2014. How is it possible to mitigate that? So what we see is by tracking the actors, this is what we do, is we get the information from a criminal view. So we believe that having the criminal view is the best way to make connections between the criminal groups out there. So we know that some of the group members involved in attacks back in 2014, 13, 12 and 11 are still some of the leaders involved in the current attacks. We know because they are the same people, they are still focusing on corporate channels. So they're not focusing on retail banking anymore, but they're focusing on robbing out corporate accounts. So they're focusing on 100,000, 200,000, or even a million euros or dollars. So these are the trends that we're seeing. And we know that because we understand who the groups are behind those threats and the actors in the group and how they interconnect. Is your company working in Italy already with some banks or...? Uh... Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are a global player. And ever since that, back in 2012, we launched our product internationally. We now have uh, over 200 banks from 40, 50 organizations over four continents. Uh, we have them as our customers, uh, including top five of the six uh, US banks, for example. Um, and we also have customers in Italy. Is the um, approach the same anyway, I mean, from Italy to worldwide, the same approach because the, the threads are the same? This is a very good question and yes it is. And the reason why it's the same that the criminals, they don't discriminate where they are going. So the attacks are all coordinated from the same places and they're all executed in pretty much in the same ways. Of course there are subtleties per country. Some countries, banks use SMS text authorizations and so on and so on. But in essence, the modus operandi over the world is the same. And it, the modus operandi has changed over time as well. So they would try and rob banks fully automatedly, invest a lot of money, and then doing the robbing automatedly. But right now they've changed that a little bit. They will do it semi-automatedly. So they do the first reach out to the infected customers automated, but then they have operators standing by and these operators will then take over sessions or create new sessions, thereby taking money out of the system. So this semi-automated modus operandi is all over the world. We see the same over Singapore, the US, Italy, uh, the Nordics and so on. So, um, what we believe is, what's a very important thing to be doing is within every threat situation, don't start panicking. We know that a lot of companies uh, have been, see that intelligence uh, is created to warn or to scare people, to scare banks and organizations. But intelligence can be the other side around as well. So what we believe is that people should have good intelligence positions. For example, the biggest threat internationally and also uh, the second biggest threat in Italy is Dyer. So, Dyer is an attack that was created by criminals and they just copied all of their old targets into this attack. So a lot of people were warned by security companies, you are mentioned in this attack, they are going to attack you. But this is not the case. 
Um, if you have proper intelligence, like for example Intel by Fox IT, we would have told you, listen, you are mentioned in the attack, but we know that they're not yet preparing their attack because we have visibility into the criminal infrastructure. So don't worry, we'll keep track on it and we'll let you know when something updates. And that's very important to have good intelligence so that you know when to mitigate and how to mitigate.